there YouTubers, this is Melissa and I thought I would stop in and do a video quick to share my July project life. And so let's get started. Okay, so here is an overview of <clears throat> side one. And so for the first pocket I used some Tim Holtz ink because I don't have a lot of spray mists, but if you put some ink upside down on a craft sheet and then squirt a little water, you got your own little mist coloring there. So that's what I do. Add some stickers and, you know, cut my month card from my cameo. This is a die from Paper Tray Ink. I'm still trying to make my way through stickers, so whenever I can, I'm adding stickers. So, um, yeah, he's still using my typewriter, trying to get rid of these chipboard Studio Calico pieces. Just trying to use up bits from L Studio. So having a fun with having fun with it. You know, right now we're like I mentioned last month, we're doing a huge landscape project, so we're just making our way through it. So still using my Technique Tuesday Project Life card the die with the circle. I love that. And actually now they have an arrow one that's on my wish list. So <laughs> Um, yeah, don't tell anybody, but I'm trapping chipmunks because the little naughty things are making a mess in my yard. So this is kind of a funny play on, like, I spy a chipmunk right there. But anyway, some cherry picking, using up some old, old October afternoon jelly bean soup. Again, this is another cut from the Allie Edwards Circle Project Life die I just added. A little tidbit behind it. Kept it simple here. Um, oh, so this one's fun. So we've had these ant brads from, I don't even remember where, from an expo forever. And I thought they were appropriate with this cutout piece from the library, or from the museum. And I also got to use my um, lawn fawn, my grass dye for the first time. So I was happy about that. Okay, so that was side two. And then my second, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera, guys. In my second layout, it's a new haircut. And then me trying to signify that every day of the week, this is pretty much what we are doing, landscape. It's crazy. So I thought it was totally appropriate to use these two Christmas wood veneer trees. Well, they don't have to be Christmas, but you know what I mean. Um, using up, you know, old, you know, um, Project Life things from, like, Chic um, kits and old studio calico, more landscaping. Oosh. This is from an old chic tags last year. <laughs> so funny. And I yeah, just had my little niece come visit. She's not so little anymore, but again, using up the Tim Holtz movie strip, some of my popcorns that I cut out, stamped and cut out from the Stamps of Life. And this is a chic tag stamp on the menu. Um, BBS started this week. Um, I, I, using these splashes on all my pool pool uh, photos. And then yeah, Ugh, more stuff. And then my sixth cover got put onto the cover of this Michigan magazine, so I was pretty proud of that. So, so yeah, so that's it. Um, I also wanted to share that I got the Raskog. I actually, my girlfriend had it and she still had it in the box. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy it from you because I'm going to use it before you. So, and the other thing I wanted to share is as most of you who've been following my channel know, I've been trying to make my way through um, my stash of supplies, giving myself, trying to give myself the goal of wrapping, getting through one wrap it, package of stuff a month, which I feel like is pretty reasonable, except I run into a bump in the road when it comes to things like these because, although very cute, I know for a fact that I am probably never going to use like the ampersand with this color scheme or this question mark. Like, although this is a pretty color scheme, I don't ever, ever see myself using it. So, what I have decided to do is um, take a Sharpie to the ones that I would use 
if they were black or another color. I have a whole slew of colors of Sharpies because um, that's how I color my wood veneers, sometimes with my Spectrum Noir markers, but the same can be said, I believe, for Copics. I don't have any, so I don't know, but would I be using this plane like this? No, probably not, but fab, sure, I'm going to use it if it's in black or a color that's more conducive to, you know, what I'm doing. Um, so, for instance, like this was a little potty girl, potty boy. Um, this is an ampersand. I just colored it. Now it's just waiting for me to use. Still on the sticker. But then this whole sheet is done. So these, obviously, I will leave because that's easy to use. And then the washi. But, um, like I said, for these icon stickers, I just don't, you know, it's just not me. Um, it's not conducive to the, the type of scrapbooking and type of things that I like to do. So this hopefully is going to help me plow through the last bit of these and also any other packs of stickers that, um, you know, I'm just like, when is the appropriate time, place, or, you know, to use them. And I, I'm pretty, um, you know, relaxed and easy and about like just putting a sticker on a spot because, well, it goes. But for stuff like this, you know, it's, that's just too much for me. So, so anyway, um, I hope that kind of helps you maybe go through and plow through some of your stash. This is actually an arrow, so it might hard be hard to see, but, you know, fab, of course, uh, these are all going to be black at some point, so, but yeah, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to visit my Facebook page, you can, it's Cut It Up Creations, um, and I have a blog, same thing, Cut It Up Creations at blogspot.com. So, thanks for watching. Bye.